At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Uh, switching six up, I'm gonna try the ultrasonics today. So we got a little bit of bad news. Our game tomorrow is canceled. Not enough staff turnout. Um, I also got a gym pass for the gym upstairs. Just opened up like two weeks ago. So that's saying I can work out now. I can go to the swimming pool, to the hot tub. I think they have a hot tub. They also have like a water slide park. So, although I think they have like a height limit, but oh well. That hasn't stopped me from getting into places before, but. Also a little reminder, Traspec 2 Pro Laces, pick them up, the link in the description. They're available, they're selling like hot cakes right now. So use that Travis Sucks code for five bucks off. You're gonna wanna pick them up while they're still, while we're still making them. Because they are going fast. Try to shoot in front of the camera, because I'm gonna look back at this after and I wanna see what your blade's doing. Uh, freestyle, freestyle. Oh. If you've followed me for any period longer than like a week, you'd know I love protein pancakes. I love protein French toast. I can't get enough. Um, Swedish pancakes, as you can tell from the box here. Um, boy Hugo, one of the guys on our team, he recommended me to pick up these. So I started using the Swedish pancake mix, putting in my vegan Beyond Yourself vanilla cupcake protein. And these pancakes, this is the third morning in a row I've had these for breakfast. They are un. Unbelievable. Look at about 600 smackaroos, 600 calories. We're talking like 50 grams of protein. <sighs> Gotta have your Beyond Yourself greens. As always, promo code TRAVSOCKS will save you 10 percent. Actually, no, sorry, 20% off. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna eat my Swedish pancakes. I'll be honest, they're so good, I don't even need a fork. Just God's utensils right here. And uh, I'm gonna head down to the rink, we're gonna skate tonight. So, that's the plan. <laughs> So in a very recent turn of events, uh, all the electricity and the power on the street that I live in with the boss man has been turned off. Um, and I gotta go to practice in about two and a half hours, but I can't make any food because everything's been shut off. And the boss man's out of town. So the boss man is my landlord. 
he gave me the keys to his car. If I need anything for an emergency, I deem this as an emergency. Um, I'm going to a place to uh, fix this emergency. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper, Big Mac, Whopper, Big Mac, Big Mac. Hello, yes. Do you guys still have that burger with like the crispy nachos? Uh, no, we don't have it right now. Oh, no. Can I get a triple cheese with you beef? Want the whole menu? What? Do you want the whole menu? What do you mean, do I want the whole menu? It's with a medium drink and a medium fry. No, just the burger's fine. Can I get a halloumi Korean barbecue burger? Yeah, and can I get a water cup, like a huge water cup too? Yeah, welcome to So this place is called Max. Max is like the the quintessential burger shop in Sweden. It's like a delicacy for fast food. And the thing is, it's kind of like a because every single time you go here, you're gonna have to refinance your future home because it's so expensive. But these two burgers are probably gonna come out to like 30 bucks. Hello. Hey. How are you? Great. Excellent. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah, Max is at the quintessential burger place. You gotta go here if you're in Sweden. You gotta refinance your future mortgage and your future home every time you come here, which is fine. Uh, it's a uh, sometimes street. You know, like the old saying goes, from Kid Rock, everything in moderation, including moderation. Are you scared? Because Kid Rock is just such a great role model to have in life, right? Oh. Nothing in my bun. And they have, ooh, actually looks pretty decent. They got onion rings, they got cilantro, they got Lots of good stuff in here. Now, obviously this isn't a food reviews channel by any means, but uh, one of the guys that sits beside me in the locker room told me that he bought, he got this burger for him and his woman the other day and it wasn't very good. So I thought, okay, well, now I have to try it. I got that barbecue sauce on the back end. Yeah, I have no idea what Yoni was talking about. This is unreal. Do I know my face? This is one of those burgers where it's so good. I'd like to lick the box clean. Like it is just, I'm probably gonna regret doing this, but I got a beef burger because I've had meat products one time, technically two times since I came to Sweden. I got um, like those meat pizzas with you know the fellas out late at night at the club, or like the first or second night I was here. I've had no pork, chicken, fish uh, for three, almost four weeks now, and this will be the second time having beef. Obviously the frozen meatballs didn't feel great. I'm curious how I'll feel after having a cheeseburger. So this is called the triple cheese. Uh, looks a little sad, but. Uh, so this is basically like a Swedish Big Mac, because the base was, was the best way I can think of describing it. Burger, cheese, onion, sauce, pickles. How's the song go? Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper, Big Mac, Whopper, Big Mac, Big Mac. Like it's a good thing this place is pretty far away. Like it, it take me a good half hour to get here by bus if I wanted to come here on a regular basis. Although it is really expensive, like everything in Sweden's more expensive than what it should be, but anyway. Contrary to popular belief, I do have to sometimes be careful about uh, what I put in these vlog intros. You know, our management and our coaching staff talk a lot about advancement, about trying to go to Div 2, trying to move up uh, division next year. All I'm going to say is I try to stay on brand with that every day. I try to stay on brand in the sense like I want to move towards that goal. And if we're not moving towards that goal, I want to play in the Fed next year. Borderline maybe like SPHL if a team is desperate enough financially. I don't know, put all the bullshit aside, just let it work. Holy. I saw that. At, uh, I watched every second of you just eat shit there. <laughs> Gotta get the body feeling a little warm today. Hey, you wanna pick it? You guys got it? Yeah. Oh, daddy. <laughs> yes. A little spit, a little sandpaper fin it. He said one drug to put the pegs in. Can get those boots warm?
Step into replay. Replay. A three play. No goal. Two, you gotta win by two. Hey, you gotta win by two. No. Yeah. It's nine, nine, you gotta win by two. Okay, so apparently we got some good news. So our team and another team in the division are kind of having the same problems that we're only getting like 10, 12 guys showing up. The the travel schedule just so the other team and then us, I guess technically speaking, we're folding and we're gonna merge to become one team. So you know they're 10 to 12 guys, our 10 to 12 guys are gonna become a full team. Um, so we're gonna have about a 20 man roster here to take. They did say that they're requiring like five goalies from this team. Obviously, you know, coaching staff and whatnot are going to give you the normal mumble jumbo. Don't worry, we're not really worried. Here's the thing I've seen you know, a lot of people in the comments section saying, I don't get where traffic gets off being so cocky and so arrogant for a guy who hasn't really performed, who's just kind of washed up or whatnot. And everybody's entitled to their opinion, absolutely, for as long as these videos are being posted online. But here's how I see things if I can't convince myself that I'm the man and that I believe in myself, how am I ever going to convince my entire team or my coaching staff that I'm the man and to believe in me? Like, if I don't believe it, why would they? Confidence is key in hockey and in life. In women, everything. If you're not confident, you're never going to go out and execute. It's as simple as that. Let's talk about the whole bus train pass. I'm sure a lot of people have blown up in the comments section. Trav, your team said there was going to be a car. There is no car. Why are you being this way? Like, why, why would you stand for that and let them do that? Listen, okay, calm down for a second. I personally love trains, hence why you see so many shots at the train station i don't mind taking the train bus not a huge fan of but it kind of evens itself out my goal my objective is playing hockey i should come to the rink i show up i work i go home there's really no other purpose for me to be in sweden outside of playing hockey so yeah it'd be nice to have a car but it'd also be nice to win the lottery and i don't have the winning lottery numbers and i don't think anybody in the comment section does <laughs> feeling when I brought the Q&A back it was gonna be a bad idea just because there's gonna be like 30,000 questions every single video to sort through and get carpal tunnel from replying to them all and trying to put them in the Q&A but there have been a couple of really good questions so we're gonna finish with the Q&A as always if you have a question leave in the comment section if you put Q&A beside it or something it makes my life a little bit easier to sort through them um, I might have to do like a dedicated Q&A video with just how many really good questions have come out the last little bit so also let me know if you want to see that also mail time if you have a package you want to send me if you're a company if you just you know maybe your mom made some cookies and you want to send it to me i'd love to get your cookies uh send me a message on instagram i'll give you the address because it seems like every other week i'm getting shipped off to a new place these days so uh yeah anyway roll the intro let's begin the q and time for q and well, i came on. Yeah. Oh, came on hey look we're on that tv thing strap on your skates you're going in there's a lot of very passionate questions today this is a big theme all he says you need to tell the truth to your fans and other people watching your awesome videos. This is not normal. This is not a Swedish house you're living in at the moment. This is someone's summer house. See, a lot of people are pissed off that I'm making assumptions about like what Sweden is like, what Europe is like when I've only been in one country. This is all I have to base it off of. I've been in four homes. Um, I haven't been outside of Sweden. They're all just assumptions that I've made because it's all I've seen. It's all I've been exposed to in my experiences. I'm probably wrong, but in my mind, this is all I've seen. A uh, guy with no name says, you might want to consider getting a scooter or an electric bike if the car doesn't work out, just so you have the freedom to go where you want. Actually, there's a lot of people ripping scooters around at the train station, the bus station. Can you imagine I just pull up to somebody's place, just scare, scare on my scooter, get in. That would be fun. Maybe I can get like a scooter sponsorship, like one of those like, electric scooter or electric skateboard companies can like throw me a bone and do a sponsored video. If you know a company or you are that company, send me an email or an Instagram message. The father basically asks, uh, do you guys have a goalie coach or is anybody helping you? No, our goalie coach from last year, at least from I'm basing off what I've been told, uh, our goalie coach quit. We don't have a, a team goalie coach. Uh, I worked with him for two practices last year. So no, we don't have a goalie coach, but I still do work with uh, Derek Bujan, Pascal Vallana, Brad Sherwin, and Jamie Phillips, nutritional specialist. We're, we're talking 
every day, every other day, it feels like. Just constantly communicating ideas back and forth. Zip says, do you live anywhere near Kaskasuo? Like, we're not going out and hanging out and being neighbors. Like, hey, you wanna go jump on a trampoline? Like, we don't live anywhere near each other. He's on, I don't know, wherever the hell he is in Sweden. I'm over here. I'm doing my business. He's doing his business. We're not going on a date. We're not collaborating anytime soon. It's simple as that, my friend. How do you feel about being alone in Sweden with people you don't even know? You just gotta get used to it. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a big people person. I know it's kind of hard to believe considering I make videos for like the internet. I'm not a big fan of strangers. I love peace and quiet. I love being on my own. I like me time. Like uh, Tara Lowens used to say, Dallas Cowboys. He's like, I love me some me. Cause I love me some me. I love me some me. I can't stand myself. Get your popcorn ready, baby. I, I love me some me. I love me some me time. John says, you need meat. Go get some ground beef. It's affordable. Get some fish. That's cheap. Dude, I'm 54. I still play. Yeah, you know, I got some pain, of course. Six pack abs. <laughs> I, I eat beef and I eat eggs. If you're going to do vegan, do it because you don't want to kill animals. Here's the thing. The primary reason why I wanted to try being plant-based is A, my body's breaking down. I know I'm 25 and a lot of people laugh at that, but like I'm, I'm getting old. Like I need to do something to maintain my body before I get to 30 and I'm in a wheelchair. Groceries in Sweden are so expensive. Like I've spent, I think 600 bucks just in the last month, the last four weeks on groceries, and I haven't bought any meat. It would probably be 800 bucks plus if I was buying meat. YouTube is my job. Again, this isn't the world's greatest paying job. This is enough to get by. I can't afford to be buying meat. So those are the two big principles. Performance, I'm broke, something new, great for the vlog, obviously. Um, I'm not a fan of how they treat animals. I don't really don't want to get into a big debate about that, but like that's not stopping me from eating meat. Like I went and I had a cheeseburger yesterday. Like, you know what I mean? I want to be very clear, there will be a full dedicated, I transformed into a vegan video, although I'm not a vegan, I'm like plant-based, but a full video documenting that, that changes all the transformations in my body, how I'm feeling, just everything. That'll be coming up probably in about a month. I need a little bit more time to kind of put everything together. What is your massage gun routine after practice? I'll show you. Okay, so this is the massage gun I use. It's called uh, uh, Tonkur is the brand. Actually, I, I did a sponsored video uh, with them back like in the, the springtime. It's a really good massage gun. It's really cheap. I think it's only like 150 bucks, 120 bucks. Like a uh, Theragun, 900, $1,000 a piece. And making YouTube videos, I don't know if you know this or not, YouTube doesn't exactly pay well. I can't afford a Theragun. So when Tonkor wanted to reach out, it was a great gun. I said, okay, let's do something with it. And it's been really good to me. It hasn't broken down or anything. I've been using it for like nine months. This is not sponsored, by the way. It's like in high school. I, when I worked at McDonald's, a guy used to tell me all the time at work, he's like, you having a bad day, Trav? Yeah, he's like, just go home, man, and jerk it. Just jerk it till the pain goes away, man. It'll all be okay. Kind of the same concept, but like a massage gun. And just, if it's hurting, start massaging it. I also probably don't need to tell you there's been a lot of pissed off vegans, plant-based, vegetarians, and then carnivore diet people in the comment section. Like, David, can you do a walkthrough of your gear? Yes, I'm gonna be doing an in-the-bag video coming up soon, so breaking down all the specs, everything I wear, everything I own. Matt, does the Varber team sell merch? I'd love to rock a shirt or jersey. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I show up, I stop pucks, I make YouTube videos. Nowhere in my job description is it to make shirts, to make jerseys. I have told our staff, our management, if you wanna make a lot of money, get a merch store. Get some jerseys available, make some shirts, make some pucks, just anything you can sell, put it on a website, I can promote it for you. I'm not making the jerseys though, I'm not shipping the jerseys, I'm not, like that's not my job. They haven't done that, and that's not my job. My job is stopping pucks and making these videos for you. Gustav with a really good question. Do you truly believe Sweden is the greatest country in the world? I've heard you say it a few times now recently, and I'm curious as a Swede, how a Canadian actually views Sweden. Um, okay, S please skip ahead to this point if you don't want any political nonsense. I don't want to get political, but I think you can't, like, with this question. I like Sweden because there's no COVID restrictions. I can go to a restaurant, I can go to the rink, I can go and hang out with people, I don't have to wear a mask, I can go to the gym, I can enjoy my life. That's the number one reason why I like Sweden over Canada, over a lot of other places. I get my life. I get my normal pre-March 2020 life back. Number two, I play hockey. I can get into the rink, I can do what I love, Hockey is what I need in my life. I feel lost without hockey. It's my purpose, it's my identity. So when these COVID lockdowns come and they shut down the rinks, they shut down all that kind of stuff, I lose part of my identity. So when I'm in Sweden and I have that, I can go to the rink two hours before, I love that. That alone right now is enough for me to say, I love Sweden more than I love Canada. On top of that, the women are all right. The food is great, super expensive, but it's very good. I like the people, because I don't feel like I'll be getting into a street fight anytime soon. I don't think people are very confrontational in Sweden. I really like that. And just. I, I like traveling, I, I like new stuff, you know what I mean? As far as I'm concerned right now, I would put Sweden in a bracket right now with Florida, Texas, Arizona, Sweden. My four favorite places on the planet right now, and uh, Florida's where I wanna go after the season. So I hope that answered your question, Gustav. I love your country. Please accept me as a Swede, because I'd love to become one.
as of right now. That could change, who knows? The world's crazy right now. Ethan, did making your channel create opportunities in hockey like going to Vancouver and training with Pasco? Did making this channel change my life. Being able to leverage the following for these videos, like, like you watching these videos, to get opportunities to go train with different goalie coaches, to go to, to play in different places, to just share my passion for goaltending and passion for hockey, my love for the game. It's it's the single greatest thing I've done in my life is create this channel and it changed my life. And for that, I'm beyond grateful. I mean, do I want to be making videos, sharing them on the internet, with my, my passion for hockey and goaltending and everything, living the dream for a living, for a living? Or do I want to work in a cubicle at an accounting firm in Winnipeg? No, I'm, I'm good. I'll keep doing this. What gear are you thinking of buying? Dude, I'm broke. The gear that you see me using in all these videos is the gear that I'm using. I'm using my Manscaped 20.1 gear. By the way, speaking of which, make sure you go to manscaped.com slash TravSox, pick up a lawnmower, get 20% off your performance package. Holiday season is coming. It is upon us. Back to school is already done. Fall. Pumpkins. You want to pick up your girl? You want to take her on a date? You want to go car some pumpkins? Go Halloween trick-or-treating? Guess what? You'll be trick-or-treating with her all night. If you are clean shaven, you are smooth, manscaped.com, the lawnmower. I'm telling you, you gotta pick one up. Thank you for watching, as always. New videos every Monday and Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.